Hey, it's Simon from electricaltradeacademy.com. IP, or ingress protection, defines degrees of protection provided by enclosures of electrical equipment. Now, you may have seen IP codes stamped onto the sides of product packaging or an electrical equipment itself, and they follow the format of IP number number, such as IP44. So let's unpack all of this and bring in some real-life understanding. Here's a very handy reference table that helps us understand what IP44 actually means. The first digit specifies the limits of solid element ingress, such as fingers, tools and dust, while the second digit concerns water ingress. The higher the numbers, the more protection an enclosure has. So for an IP44 rated product, this means it's designed and manufactured to guard against solid objects greater than 1mm in size and splashing water such as rain. Typically, you'd find the IP44 rating on outdoor wall light fittings, for example. Now, the IP system is also quoted in relevant sections of the UK Electrical Regulations, BS 7671, and in Part P Building Regulations, covering electrical works in domestic premises. Another designation you'll come across is the term IPX 4, 5 or 6, for example. Manufacturers legitimately use X to indicate that the product's not been tested for solid element ingress, but that it is guaranteed to protect it against water jets from any direction, if it was an IPX5 rated item. Now here's a product used extensively by electricians in domestic and commercial outdoor environments. They're rated at IP66 and they're top notch at keeping water out and electrical connections dry. However, I've attended many, many garden lighting trip outs only to discover that installers have partially buried these particular enclosures in the soil. When I open them up, I always find water, wet soil, snails and their droppings, and as you can imagine this is one of the direct causes of earth faults that cause the circuit to trip. So IP65 doesn't mean they can be buried in the soil, they must be mounted on walls, fences or dedicated posts up off the ground. Now when you do need something that's fully submersible and watertight, that's where IP68 comes in. IP68 is defined in BS EN60529 as the submersible standard and rated for permanent immersion, but depth, pressure and duration are set by the manufacturer. But for the ultimate underwater guarantee, I'd recommend the gel-filled enclosure. Gel boxes aren't just sealed, but they work by water displacement rather than sealing which makes them far more reliable for permanent submersion. So gel pushes water out rather than relying solely on seals. And there you go. Like and subscribe for more.